G'day viewers, this is Troy from the Troy's Digital Arts channel. I've done a lot of work on my 2 inch 902 type green CRT tube TV project since my last video and yeah I've I've pretty much soldered most of the uh, potentiometers to the components and the valve sockets. I've just temporarily cable tied them together. Um, I've also forgotten to, to um, connect the heater wires, the wires to the heater pins, so I've done that as well. So they're the brown and red wires and they're chained together um, and they're all coming off uh, to, um, to two single uh, points. And they'll be connected to the socket where I plug in the 6.3 volt AC connection connector. Anyway, um, see, so yeah, I've done a lot there, and it's really looking like a mess. <laughs> and um, on the other part of the chassis, I've Drilled a few more hole, a couple more holes in the front here, because um, yeah, I realise I can easily fit the pots in those here in in between as well. So, and I've labelled which which pots go and where as well. Um, so on the left side, I've got the line hold and the frame hold and the focus. On the right side, I've got the volume, and I've got the contrast, and I've got the brightness. The uh, brightness and the focus, well, the focus is pretty much going to go to the tube, the, so, the uh, circuitry that's at the tube. The uh, brightness will be going to the uh, power supply section, which I haven't yet wired up. Oh yes, um, at the rear side I've now... Um, I've now mounted the AV inputs. Yeah, I've um, epoxied the the AV uh, sockets to to a, a metal bracket, aluminium bracket, and have uh, have um, screw mounted it to the chassis. Now I've just started working on the uh, power supply side of things. Um, I'm at the moment sort of like bunching up components as as best I see fit. I've uh, I've connected the two thirty three microfarad combination combination uh, capacitors to each other, um, and the uh, the 1.2k ohm resistor, um, which is which I actually have a 1k and a 220 connected in series because I didn't have a 1.2k and J card don't sell. Yeah, and I had to combine a few uh, free 10 microfarad and one uh, 2.2 microfarad together to make 33 microfarads and to to give the uh, and to be at a decent voltage because I've got 300 volts coming out of here and I don't want to be using <laughs> 16 volt capacitors because they'll just pop <laughs> so I had, to make, I had to combine a, a few capacitors together because Jake I didn't have the high voltage um, 33 microfarad caps Bit of a pain in, in the bum because it's, it's just going to take up more space. But what can I do? <laughs> and um, and up here, I've for the for the EHT, I've combined some of the circuit, the uh, three three thirty nanofarad capacitors, which is actually um, which I had to once again combine a couple of cap couple of uh, caps together to to make up the value 
because JCAR didn't have what I wanted. And yeah, I've got the 150k resistor and the two 184007 diodes connected as seen. And uh, yeah, the, here we've got a 40 microfarad cap, which I actually bung to uh, 22 microfarad caps together, and they're going to be soon connected to the uh, one of the 1N4007 diodes. Yeah, so hopefully once I get all these components connected together, hopefully it'll be reasonably neat and, you know, just in a uh, couple of sections and a couple of um, blocks and I can just m easily mount them inside the chassis and connect it to the 6N3 valve, which has only got two, two um, pin connections. Anyway, that's pretty much my progress. So I've done quite a lot. And yeah, um, aside from these potentiometers, I've still got another four potentiometers to use. Um, actually, come to think of it, now I've actually connected the, I've connected two of the uh, four of the four potentiometers that I need to to pretty much mount above the chassis. Because yeah, I'm going to put another metal plate that's going up, that's going to be sticking up um, about maybe that much, and I'm going to be having two potentiometers go, uh, on one side um, and two on the other side. Um, the ones on uh, um, this side will be for the for the uh, horizontal and vertical horizontal width and vertical heights. And on this side would be for the for the uh, line and frame centering. So yeah, quite a lot of pots, ten in total to be exact. So yeah, a lot of adjustments for this two inch TV set, two inch tube that is. And uh, finally, um, I need to get a hold of a audio transformer to connect there um because uh yeah I, i'm i have not um gotten one yet well actually i do have a couple of audio transformers one in a heart rate monitor that i've that i've acquired uh from a tech mode of mine um which is which i'm going to be it's an old heart rate monitor which i'm going to be yeah using for parts and stuff and and uh yeah it has an audio transformer and uh, i've got a chassis of some sort which has an audio transformer in it so i'll probably use one of those and uh yeah finally before to finish the video um when i when i connected the two uh chassis pieces up um i realized that the audio transformer here was pretty much very close to the top of the chassis and pretty much also almost touching the audio valve socket so I had to insulate the the uh, audio pot volume control pot and pull that out so this is what I had to do and uh, yeah so it's so it doesn't so it doesn't touch metal or metal to the tube socket and in the uh, chassis, so to speak. And I'd also uh, move the caps over a bit. So it's a very tight fit. It's pretty much going to go right down here. It's one of the perils of of electronics and assembling things you sometimes get into little snags like that and you just have to improvise in the best way possible now this TV is coming along pretty well and yeah so time to wrap things up so yeah Stay tuned for the next update when I made uh, 
another lot of uh, progress with it. This is Troy from Troy's Visual Arts Channel signing out.